1972. Bought a little cassette deck to start recording my little rock band. You know, a little TIAC cassette deck and a little Dolby noise reduction unit. And uh, and we would use some of the stage, our vocal microphones, Sure, Sure SM57s, uh, to, to capture you know, recording my band at rehearsal so that we could hear what we sounded like. And that was in 1972. TIAC tape recorders of, of the ancient 70s, you know, which were two tracks and then splurged and spent a lot of money and bought a four track one. Old 60s, very old 60s records like uh, The Beatles and Jimi Hendrix, they were all recorded on, on, on a four track. Living in Modesto and recording in Modesto, we do not see very many famous people, although I've had Spice One in here five times. I've had Be Legit in here twice. Uh, I, I'm the guy that discovered Shane Miner, did four songs for him and sent him to Nashville, where he got a $400,000 deal on, a, on a, actually a half million dollar deal on Mercury Records uh, for country music. Uh, he was a wonderful human being. Taylor acoustic guitar and I like my Fender Stratocaster guitar would be the ones that in the middle of the night if I can't sleep I'll come in here and play till all hours of the night. Uh, I also, you know, I started piano at 8, guitar at 12, and I play bass guitar as well. One well, of my three favorite artists of all time to actually work with in here and spend vast amounts of time. My wife Pamela came before we got married. She, she recorded here on and off for over a two year period and, and I loved working with her. That was probably my favorite person to do stuff with him. And then in the end we ended up getting married and now we've been married for 14 years. Uh, Lincoln Brewster. I recorded a ton of demos for Lincoln Brewster before he went off and joined Steve Perry and Journey. Now Lincoln Brewster's in Christian music, is, so it has three number one hits and has sold 14 million records. You know, wonderful, killer, killer musician. And then Chris Klaus, a, a guitarist, singer, songwriter from San Francisco. Carol Channing moved to Modesto nine years ago to marry her childhood uh, sweetheart. In doing so, she still, I got to record her last two final albums of her life. Uh, she recorded here from ages 87 all the way up till 90 years old for three years. We did 32 songs uh, for Warner Brothers for Carol Channing in here. And, and those were amazing uh, sessions because, you know, we would have arrangers, there would be 10 musicians, there would be four backup singers, and then there would be, of course, Carol Channing. If you don't know who Carol Channing is, is she's a movie star. She's an Oscar-nominated movie star. She has 10 gold records. She made the song Hello Dolly Famous in the 60s, which dethroned, which took the number one spot away from the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's album. Uh, she also has four uh, Tony Awards from Broadway. Those are Broadway Oscars. This woman is a legend, and she was very wonderful and a pleasure to work with as far as being a famous person. Loved her. Soundchamberrecording.com would be our website. Uh, Sound Chamber in Modesto is how you would find us in the yellow pages. Uh, I answer the phone. Uh, don't eat if you want to talk to me. Don't do email. I don't do email, but I will answer the phone when you call. So you call 529-0374 right here in Modesto.